All right, so this is a little subset. Again, if you, if you go up against him, you may not know what their motivation is at the time, but if they're motivated by radical Islam, they're gonna act differently. So here's one everybody remembers, Pulse Nightclub. The Filster Enigma is a revolutionary holster chassis system that completely divorces your holster and gun from your clothing, giving you unprecedented concealment, whether in sweatpants or formal wear. It attaches to your AIWB holster via the wing and allows incredible flexibility for your concealed carry. Get yours at the link below. So most people hear about what the news reports for a week or two or maybe three and then they forget about it and go on to the next one. So Muslim guy goes into a gay nightclub and shoots 102 people and what was put out is Muslims hate them gays. This was a Muslim. He went in there and shot them gays because they hate them gays. And that's not, we now know that's not what happened. They, a lot of came out on this one much later when the federal government prosecuted his wife. And she was acquitted, but a lot of it came out. His plan was to go to Disney World and shoot up Disney World by taking his guns and ammo in a baby carriage, which he did. He went there, he, but the video cameras show him going up there and he's looking around and what does he see as he's trying to enter Disney World? Lots of armed security. So Muslims can do math too. And he looked around and said, I can start the shooting here, but it ain't gonna last long. And I need it to last long. So we know he got his phone out and he Googled nightclubs in Orlando, right? And I don't remember the name of the first nightclub that came up on the Google search, but we know he went to that nightclub and drove into the parking lot because we have the cameras of his car pulling into the, and what did he see when he got in that parking lot? He saw a cop car because this club paid a cop off duty to be there and he was there and his marked car was in the parking lot. So dude went to the first club that came up in his Google search, went there and left. Did he leave because he saw the cop car? Don't know, but it's probably not a bad assumption. What do you think the second nightclub that came up on his Google search was? Pulse, it had nothing to do with them gays. He drives into the, we, drives into the Pulse nightclub, doesn't see a cop car. Pulse pays an uh, off-duty cop to be there. The cop's there, but that cop's day job is drug interdiction on the interstate. So they give him an unmarked car. It's there, but it doesn't look like a cop car. So he drives and goes, okay. My second audible called at the line of scrimmage is the play I'm gonna go with. So he pulls his car across the street into a window tinting place. He walks in and does a recon because this was an audible. You know, I, I ain't playing this one. He walks in, walks around, doesn't see a cop. They had a cop. Cop was in there, but just moments before, cop saw a group of people leave that he thought at least one of them was underaged. So he followed them a block and a half down, stopped them, detained them, ID'd them. Sure enough, at least one of them was underage. He starts writing tickets for consumption of alcohol while underage. And that's where he is when the shooting kicks off. So while he's in there doing his recon, he doesn't see a cop. He hears last call. What does that mean? You know, poop, poop or get off the pot, right? So he goes back out to his vehicle across the street, drives it right up to the front door, comes in with his rifle, and you'll see, as soon as he starts shooting, you'll see the, the dust coming down off the ceiling tiles, which is what usually sets the fire alarms off. He shoots for 17 minutes until his gun malfunctions. And we know he Googled how to unjam a rifle. And he fiddled with it, and he, and anybody ever had a jam with an AR and made it worse? Well, he apparently did because when they finally blew a hole in the wall and went there and killed him, on the police report it said they had to use a wooden dowel to break the, it was so jammed up to get the thing open to clear it, right? Uh, shoots for 17 minutes, and then his, his rifle malfunctioned, so he didn't shoot anybody else. He did use his pistol to shoot at the cops when they came in to kill him. Um, but he shot 102 people. Had he kept, kept shooting, um, you don't tell him how many he could have got. So there's the floor plan. Here are the downstairs bathrooms, and that's where he is for a lot of the last times. He shot people in there, but he hangs, ar hangs around in and around the bathrooms a lot towards the end. Start shooting at six minutes from the first shot, roughly. A five-man team of cops go in there, a, a, an ad hoc from at least two different agencies. At least two of them had rifles. So they go in at the six-minute mark, and they do evac some casualties, but they don't close with and stop this guy, unfortunately. So this is the redacted 911 log. How you get on this is the 911 operator hears it, hears you say it and types it. They hear it in the background of the call and type it, or it comes over uh, the, the police radio. 
So what you're going to see is 17 minutes of shots fired, shots fired, shots fired, shots fired, shots fired. And then here you can see where they're saying they're sending in the ad hoc team, right? 17 minutes, shots fired, shots fired, shots fired, shots fired. Last reported shot fired 17 minutes in. Then you're going to see two and a half hours of we're bleeding to death. Please, God, come help us. He's in the downstairs bathroom. We're bleeding to death. Please, God, come help us. We're in the downstairs bathroom. Three hours and 12 minutes after the first shot, they finally blow a hole in the wall, enter in, get into a gunfight with this guy, shoot him dead. They, they shot him kind of like a lot. Well, I take that back. They shot a lot of rounds. Does it say, did I put it on the slide? Let me see. They shot 172 rounds, hit him seven times. I don't know. I have never read that any of the 102 were shot by friendly cop fire, but I don't know. I don't know. They, that's a lot of rounds. But uh, I'd rather have overkill than underkill on these guys. So. Yeah. So since he had a lot of time in there after his gun jammed, he made three 911 calls himself, the killer. This is just one of them, so there's no doubts. There are two documentaries out there. Uh, I think Nat Geo made one of them. Two different documentaries where they say this guy went in this gay club because he was a closet homosexual and one of his gay lovers had jilted him. And that two different documents, and they still show them. Well, we know that's not, it hadn't had to do with because he was a homosexual or because he hated homosexuals. Is because he was a Muslim, wanted a high body count, and this was his second audible call to the line of scrimmage. Over three hours. So, cop, off duty cop, in there, in uniform, went to write tickets. He heard the shooting. He went back. He entered. He made visual contact with the shooter. I have read and heard that he exchanged a shot or two with him and then left, and I have heard he did not shoot and left. But either way, he left, and what I have read was his statement was, I felt outgunned. He had a rifle, I had a pistol, felt outgunned. Okay. So when, when people go in schools and they see a resource officer, when people walk in churches, if they have paid cops there, when people walk in bars and see a cop in uniform, I'm sure they think, ah, we're safe. Could be an illusion. Could be an illusion. Now, um, he made bomb threats. When, on one of in his several phone calls, he said, I have bombs in the parking lot and I have a bomb in here. I think we're going to see more of that because how could that not be successful? Right? How could that not be successful? If we piss him off, if we scare him, if we rush in there, he could set it off and kill whoever's left in there, not to mention the responding people going in. So I think we're going to see a lot more of fake bomb threats. Why not? It doesn't cost anything. 